Hey what's up guys my name is Pavinda from PNP Tutorials and you are watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are going to talk about how we can install the Wi-Fi Fisher tool and how we can perform the evil twin attack using the Wi-Fi Fisher tool. So let's do it. Just remember one thing, I am performing this attack on my Wi-Fi router. You don't have to try this against any other Wi-Fi router. This video is just for educational purposes only. Before we go ahead with the installation process, I want to tell you that Wi-Fi Fisher tool comes under the repository. Let's try to check if the Wi-Fi Fisher tool is installed in our Kali Linux or not. If that is not installed, then it should be installed by this command. Let's enter the password for our Kali Linux and as you can see guys Wi-Fi Fisher is already the newest version in our Kali Linux. I want to run the Wi-Fi Fisher tool. For running the Wi-Fi Fisher tool you need to type sudo Wi-Fi Fisher and as you can see guys it has just started and now it is doing everything on the terminal. It is trying to find out all the access points nearby. So I want to go ahead with Rida underscore ext. Let's hit enter on that. As you can see guys, we have got four phishing scenarios. First one is the browser plugin update, which is used to serve any payload who is connecting to a fake access point. Second one is network manager connect. Third one is the OAuth login page. Fourth one is the firmware upgrade page. So now I want to select the second one network manager connect. So what will happen is as soon as the victim will connect to our Wi-Fi router, they will be redirected to a page where they will be asked to enter the password. As soon as they will enter the password, we will get the password onto our Kali Linux screen. Now it has started the fake access point. Here you can see the details of the fake access point. And now I will show you there are two Wi-Fi routers over here, Rida EXT and under there there is one more Rida EXT. Let me just click on the fake AP router. I clicked on that. I am now connected to that and you will be able to see this phone's MAC address over here connected victims. Now here you can see guys it is saying requires authorization. Now I will click on that. As soon as I'll click on that. It will redirect me to a browser web page and similarly you can see the activities over here as well whatever this mobile device is doing let me just enter some password over here abcd1234 i have entered the password and clicked on join and as you can see guys as soon as i'll click on join you will be able to see that password over your screen now the thing is that this password is not right so now the question comes how this is different from Fluxion tool. Now in the Fluxion tool we were entering the handshake path and the Fluxion tool was checking the password entered by the user or by the victim against that handshake. Here in Wi-Fi Fisher it is not checking whether the password entered by the victim is correct or not. Now that is the main difference between the Fluxion tool and the Wi-Fi Fisher tool. I hope you guys liked the video. This was a short video to tell you how Wi-Fi Fisher works. If you guys are new to this channel, then please subscribe to the channel. We are bringing up more videos in future as well. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day.